CARES. INVESTIGATORS ARE TRYING TO FIGURE OUT WHO'S SENDING THESE ENVELOPES FILLED WITH WHITE POWDER TO BUSINESSES ACROSS PORTLAND. YESTERDAY WE HAD TWO MORE CASES OF IT. COIN LOCAL 6 REPORTER BRENT WEISBERG JOINS US LIVE IN SOUTHEAST PORTLAND WHERE PORTLAND'S HAZMET TEAM IS BASED. BRENT, THIS HAS HAPPENED NOW SIX TIMES, FIVE IN JUST THE PAST WEEK. THIS IS REALLY TAXING THE RESOURCES OF THE HAZMAT CREWS. They have been very busy indeed. Good morning, Alexis. You know, the firefighters say that they have to treat every single one of these cases as if it were the real deal. Now, as you mentioned, these seem to be happening almost every day. The latest just afternoon yesterday, two people had to be quarantined after an envelope was received at Portland State University's HR office. Inside, Portland police found a letter written with letters cut out from a magazine. Just a few hours later, at Oregon Health Sciences University, human resource Employees found another letter. This location, Southwest Third Avenue, the same thing, a white envelope containing more mysterious white powder. It is too close for comfort for student workers at OHSU's Human Resource Center. Now, according to a professor at PSU, if one person is responsible for all these envelope scares, the professor says it is likely someone who is overwhelmed by life, someone unable to deal with the pressures, someone looking to get attention. There is a certain personality profile, it's sort of a narcissist, we call them narcissistic fire starters that love that reaction. It doesn't matter how much chaos it costs, it's the, the thrill of having had that impact on a lot of people. Again, officials from across the state are really taking an interest and uh, are taking this seriously. The FBI is investigating, trying to figure out if all of these envelopes are coming from the same person. Now, even though the letters are not toxic, fire officials say they have to take everything seriously. The person who is sending these, according to the FBI, could face five years in federal prison. Reporting for you live this morning in Southeast Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6. And for the latest on this investigation, we'll continue to follow these white powder scares. Keep it right here on Coin Local 6. And in between newscasts, you can follow the up to the minute developments on Facebook and Twitter and on our webpage, coinlocal6.com.